guys had a great new year and yeah, I hope 2013 brings exciting things for you. I hope 2012 was a great year and here's to having a way better 2013. I'm just going to show you guys what I read in December and what I plan to read in January. In December I read five books. Um, I tried to not read so many because December is a crazy busy month. I'm sure all you guys know with the holidays and everything. First book I read was The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. This book was a great book. It was about a dog and it was actually, it's actually told in the perspective of a dog and it talks about his life and how he is like unlike other dogs and how he's very kindred um, connection with his owner. It was a great book. It did make me tear up and it made me like sob hysterically but it made me tear up because it was such a good book and I am such a dog lover as many of you guys know. I have a dog so I really enjoyed this one. I'm gonna give this one a four out of five. So maybe I'll read more you know dog books because there's actually a lot on the market so yeah. The book I read in December was Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Leviathan. Leviathan? I don't know. This book was a great book. I actually did a review on it. I will link it somewhere right above here to show you guys. I'm not gonna say too much about it because it has its own review. Um, sorry the light keeps changing. It keeps going dark to light, dark to light. I gave this one a 5 out of 5 because I adored it. I thought the writing style was very unique in it. I love the way they wrote notes back. It was just a very 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 good wintry December read. I highly recommend you read this when it's snowing outside if it does snow where you live. If not, you can always buy some fake snow and just blow it outside and gives you the illusion of snow. That could work either way. The next book I read was Finale by Becca Fitzpatrick. This is the last book in the Hush Hush saga. So there was Hush Hush, Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence, and Finale. And I have a love-hate relationship with this series. I don't really enjoy it that much. I just felt like it was a roller coaster almost. The first one was not that great. The second one was pretty good. The third one not so great. The fourth one not so great. Yeah, I didn't really like this one that much. I get confused. I'm not gonna lie when I read Becca Fitzpatrick's books because sometimes I don't. I, I don't. Me personally, I don't feel like she really catches you up on the last book so I'm like what happened? They're making a movie into Hush Hush actually and I'm somewhat excited about it. I didn't really like the book so I don't know what the movie but if you guys like the Hush Hush Haka that's awesome. I It's just not my preferred favorite. So I give this one a 3 out of 5 because I was just so so with it. Especially the last line of the book. I was like highly disappointed with that. I was like really? I just no 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 no. No, no, no. Fourth book I read was Let It Snow, which is a collection of three short stories by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. And I love this book. This has got to be one of my favorites for the month, I've got to say, because it's so cute. Yes, cute, cute, cute for all you guys out there. I'm sorry that it's so cute. Um, I really, really love this book. And I love how in each of the stories, as you go on, the characters within the stories kind of interweave through each other's lives without them really knowing it, but you know it, and it's just so... Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I definitely recommend... I want to read this book every December. That's how much I like it. I, I adore it that much. It's just a very, very good read. So I give this one a full 5 out of 5 because it was so amazing. The last book I read, which I'm actually currently still reading, is Time Writers by Alex Scarrow. I'm about... I have this much left to go, so I'm confident. I'm filming this on a Sunday, um, two days before the new year. I'm confident I can finish it within that. I really like this book, actually. I will say that it takes a little bit for it to pick up. The first 50 pages are just kind of, I think, you know, like most books, an introductory to get to know the characters and get to know the whole plot of the story. So that was that was kind of slow, but after 50 pages, it picks up. And right now, I'm right smack dab in the middle of the whole thingy. I can't tell you too much about it because I'll be giving it away. Um, but it is, it's really good so far. It's about three people who were um, taken away right before they were going to die by this mysterious man and they become time writers and they, their job is to make sure the time stays safe. Like nobody goes back in time and alters something crazy. And in this book there is somebody that goes back and alters the course of Hitler and stuff. So yeah, it's a pretty big job for them to do. And it's going really good so far. I could really see this book as being in a very good action movie and I hope they do that one day because I really, just reading it, I think this could be a great movie and I would love to see that happen. I can't give you a full rating right now, per se, um, but I will, if I finish it before I put this video up, I will leave the rating up right now. I either hated it or loved it. This is what I thought of it. Yay. 
So that was all I read for December. I think it was a great month overall. It was very good. Now, 2013, I am dubbing it the year I take tackle my bookshelf. I'm tackling my bookshelf because there are so many unread books. Like it's ridiculous how many books I have not read at all on this. And it's quite embarrassing. <laughs> and I just look at it all the time and think I have not read this book, but it's been sitting up over here for over a year. And that's ridiculous. And we all us booktubers have a problem. We keep buying and buying and buying. That's just what we do. We just buy books. And I'm just trying to my goal for 2013 is to just try to read as many books from my bookshelf that I can and that means not going to the library at all this year that means not buying so many books but I don't know about that probably won't happen I'll probably buy lots of books if you guys want me to make a separate video on 2013 goals like reading goals and stuff like that let me know I'll be more than happy to do one um but yeah I'm gonna share, share with you guys what I'm reading in January the first book I am reading is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. And if you guys have seen my last book haul, I mentioned that I ordered this on Amazon. Amazon's like, we don't have it right now, but we'll ship it to you maybe in a couple of months. And I was like, seriously, by the time I get this book, the movie's going to be already out. That's ridiculous. But luckily, Amazon always saves the day. They shipped it to me like in the middle of December, so... I'm pretty stoked about that. I cannot wait to devour this book. If you guys don't know what Warm Bodies is about, it is about a guy or zombie shall I say. It's about a zombie named R who is like a typical zombie, you know, want to eat brains and stuff. And then he meets a girl named Julie and suddenly he doesn't want to eat Julie. He kind of falls in love with Julie and he starts the zombiness in him starts to reverse and he starts to have feelings and emotions and it sounds amazing. I believe the movie's coming out in February, February 1st. I'm not too quite sure, but I really want to read this before the movie comes out, and I've heard so many good things about this book. I just can't wait to read it. The next book I'm reading is actually a Twitter recommendation. I believe I tweeted a couple days ago. I have no clue what to read for January. Let me know. They tweeted back and said I should read My Left Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Thank you to whoever tweeted me this. I will leave their Twitter handle right below. Thank you so much. This is a contemporary book, if you can tell by the cover, obviously. It is about, um, neighbors I guess that fall in love next door and not too sure too sure about it I don't know if it's kind of like Romeo and Juliet where the families hate each other or I don't know it looks very very cute I've heard a lot of good things about this book and I can't wait to see what it's all about reading is Between the Lines by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer now Jodi Picoult is an adult author I've actually read several of her books before so I love Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer is her daughter and they co-wrote this together and this is Jodi Picoult's first young adult novel if I'm not mistaken I could be wrong about a girl who is in the library constantly and she reads and reads and reads and then she reads this one fairy tale over and over and suddenly the fairy tale starts to come to life almost. I'm excited to see what this book is all about and if it's good or not. I'm going to read is Entwined by Heather Dixon. I actually won this on a giveaway over a year ago and I have not read it. Yay for winning giveaways but not ever reading the books that they send you for free. That's ridiculous. But I'm getting to put no. This is about, I'm not too sure. I think it's, it's about a girl named Azalea. Azalea, is that correctly? It's about a guy named Keeper who keeps her like kind of trapped or something. Like she goes through a closet every night and does the same thing. Like dance and dance and next night the same thing. And then one night she doesn't do that. I'm not too sure about this. I've heard, I've read a lot of mixed reviews on Goodreads about it. And that is The Friday Society by Andriana Kress. And actually, the, when I first saw this, I immediately thought of Raylene from Padfoot and Prong 07 because this is her twin, guys. I think she actually even tweeted about it and said that she, this is her twin. And I said, I picked it up and I immediately thought of that. So that's just kind of funny. This is about, this is my first steampunk novel. It's about these three ladies right here who are assistants to great masterminds. Like, she's an assistant to a... Um, a scientist, she's an assistant to a magician, and she's an assistant to a combat instructor. And I think they all meet together at a chance meeting in a ball, and I think they band together, sort of like Charlie's Angels, which I love when girls can kick butt, so I'm excited to read it. The last book I'm reading this month is The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. This is already into a movie, as you can tell, with Bradley, with Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence in it. It's about a guy who, um, he got out of kind of... A, a mental institution like he's a little bit crazy but not so much I'm not too sure and he's trying to do everything right
great so he can bring back his ex-wife and then he meets Nikki, Jennifer Lawrence along the way and it's just about their relationship and about how his family copes with things. I've heard tremendously good things about this book and I'm excited to read it because I want to read it before I go see the movie. Yeah, those are the books I am reading for this month and you guys know the rules. Vote for the two that you want to see a review on and from now on I'm going to combine them into one video so you get two reviews in one video. So whatever two you vote for will be in wrapped up in one video. That way it's easier for me for editing and it's easier for you that you don't have to watch two separate videos. You just watch one. I'm just excited for what 2013 will bring for this channel and I hope you are too and I can't wait to share the rest of the new year with you and I hope you all have a had a great new year and I will talk to you later. play well and this old dog is a yet to go to bed and only the good book can bring the comfort while I lay on the floor praying for rest but in my dreams I stay 